Hi, I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the U.S. Capitol building in Washington, D.C. We're going to take two fingers in the center and right underneath put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a flat oval. I go back to my dot and I go wavy line up, wavy line down, connect. I come on the left hand side and I draw a curved line down on the left, come back up, curve line down on the right. Slightly curved line across, connect the two. I come on the left and I draw another skinny rectangle underneath and I come back to the left and draw a straight line out on the left, straight line out on the right. Come back to the left, straight line down, big straight line over, up, connect. My last rectangle is going to be a straight line out on the left, straight line out on the right, straight line down on the left, big straight line over, up, connect. I come on the right hand side and I'm going to draw another straight line out on the right, straight line down, straight line in, connect. And I come on the left hand side and do the same thing again, straight line out, straight line down, straight line in, connect. Right here at this corner I'm going to draw a straight diagonal off the page, come in, do another straight diagonal down off the page. I come on the right hand side and I do the same thing. Straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down off the page. Now this is symmetrical so pretty much anything I do on the left I'm going to do on the right. I come up to my dome and I go curve line, curve line, keep going, curve line, connect. I come down to my next layer and draw squares, square, 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 and right here in the center on the third layer I'm going to put a straight line, wavy line out, straight line down, wavy line connect, and then on either side I'm going to draw rectangle, rectangle, rectangle on the left, rectangle, rectangle, rectangle on the right. Whatever I do on the left, I'm going to do on the right. I come again down the center and I grow, draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And inside, I'm going to go straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. I come up over here on this building and I draw a straight line across on the right. Come on the opposite side on the left, straight line across on the left. I'm going to draw a big straight line, curve line, straight line, connect, repeat once more. If I do three on that side, I come on the right, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect, straight line, curve line, connect, and connect. Now I'm going to try and fit a double window, straight line, curve line. So you can see whatever you do on the left, symmetrical you're going to do on the right. Everybody draws differently so we all might end up with a different amount of windows but the same process is going to continue. Whatever you do on the left you're going to do on the right. Straight line, curve line, connect. Now I come back and I start adding details. In between these I'm going to put straight line, straight line, straight line, jump over, straight line, straight line, straight line. In my little skinny rectangle, I do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, little straight lines, jump over, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, little straight lines. I'm going to come back on the left and I'm going to draw a straight line in between 
my windows on the left and on the right. And I'm going to come up to my little windows and do double lines. Now these are representing columns, but instead of just drawing a column, we're just going to use little straight lines to give the illusion of that. And now I come over here and this is my staircase. So I'm going to draw straight lines across on the left, diagonals, all the way off the page. And I'm going to come over on the right and do the same thing. Straight lines across, all the way off the page. Now I'm going to add a cloud just to fill up my space on the left. And I'm going to add an overlap cloud on the right. And if you want to, you can add the sun peeking behind with little straight lines. And that is basically what it looks like all drawn. You can always add more straight lines if you want, if you can fit them in. But that's your basic Capitol building. Okay, let's see what it looks like when we start coloring it in. Okay, the very first thing I'm going to color in is my teeny tiny little flag here. And I just put some dots of blue and some little stripes of red. This is a marker project because you have so many lines. Now, since I have my red out, I'm going to add dots going across. This is representing flowers and bushes with flowers. And then I'm going to take my yellow color in my sun. But on this project, amazingly enough, it's what we do with the marker for decorative reasons. I'm going to take my green and I'm going to draw straight lines across. This fills up the area. This is representing the lawns, shrubberies in front, all the way across. And now I take my blue and I fill in my background sky. Now, because it's such an intense line drawing, I don't want to try and color a lot of it because I don't want to lose the drawing I just did. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Here's my Capitol building all colored in. As you can tell, it's very intense to draw unless you keep in your mind it's like building a wedding cake and you're doing everything symmetrical. Whatever you do on the left, you're going to do on the right. Okay, bye bye.